Hey, I'm Pastor Fred. Welcome to the follow through. We are listening to God, living for Him. Ring that bell so you get notifications of these uh, messages every day. I also want you to hit, uh, hit the subscribe button and also share this with somebody. Uh, today we're in Luke 21, 1 to 4. All week we're talking about, you know, how do we make disciples? Like, what are some of the things that we can be doing? Um, and what we've discovered is, like, there's so many things happening every day that are these teachable moments. These situations that happen where we can do that, right? Like, like maybe the kids don't want to share, and you can talk about what it what it means to give your life, uh, and and how Jesus gave His life, right? So you could bring in, think about that, uh, some enormous, eternal truths that are going to make a difference for eternity into just an everyday situation, right? School is always in session for us as believers, you know. Again, we got to ask ourselves, like, God, what are you teaching me? What are you showing me? Um, and, and this is how Jesus did this. It really was. He was in the temple one time, and, and this is in uh, Luke 21, verses 1 to 4. And I'll just read it. It says, Jesus looked up, and, and there were rich people who were putting their gifts into the offering plate, right? So that's pretty incredible. Uh, so they're by where the offerings in the temple would be, would be placed. Uh, and, then, and then a poor widow comes up. You know, most people would probably ignore it, right? Let, let's see the big numbers, right? Let's see the big offerings that are going in because that's the kind of stuff that makes news, right? That's what gets people's notice, right? Us included. Uh, but, the, but this poor woman, he wants to point her out because she puts in just two small copper coins. I mean, this is like, like almost nothing. In fact, this is all that she had to live on. And Jesus says, hey, uh, look, look, pay attention. I don't want you to miss this incredible truth that we're seeing here. Uh, we're seeing this woman living out her faith because truly I tell you, this poor widow has put in more than all of them. Right? Not just, that one, not just one of them, but more than all of them, even though monetarily it was like, I mean, I don't think you can even compare the two offerings if you're looking just at plain numbers. See, so, so maybe Jesus is saying, like, get off of the numbers. D don't be so stuck on that. Look at the heart. What's really going on, right? Because he says, all of those, the ones who put all that money in, that was out of their abundance. So they probably didn't really feel it, right? They have a gazillion dollars. So yeah, what's, you know, even if it's a really, really sizable thing, compared to what they have, and, what they, and, and, and here's the important thing, what they have left over, it's, it's very little, percentage-wise. It's very little in terms of how it costs them and, and, what, and what it is in their heart. Now, again, those could be very generous, heartfelt gifts, but he's saying, look, she gave out of her poverty, left with nothing else but to trust God. So she trusted him before, she trusts him after, she trusts him during, right? She put all she had to live on into that offering uh, box, all of it. In a sense, it was like putting her life in there, in God's hands, saying, Lord, take it all. You've got it. You've got me. Uh, I, you know, there's no safety net here. That's faith, right? And so that's a faith lesson right there. Jesus didn't say, all right, come around. We're going to talk about faith. I'm going to give you a lesson and we're going to, you know, open up the Bible and we're going to go through all these things, right? And, and I'm sure he did a lot of that too, right? always sharing the word but he realizes like we need like these real world things to to really hit home because we all know what it's like to give and we all know some of the reasons why we give for pride right maybe out of guilt maybe out of shame and maybe we we don't feel like our little bit matters but jesus saying no no when it comes from the heart it, it's all good it's powerful it's, it's life-changing. Th th these two little coins this woman gives, she, she gave it all. And that's what matters. For us to realize that it's all in His hands. My whole life is in the hands of the one who made the world. What an amazing, amazing thing. Let's learn that today. And let's also teach that to somebody today, all right? So that they might live in that freedom as well. Have a great day, and we'll talk to you next time.